Alright, this one's going to be on converting Unicode uh, to a suitable format. So for my uh, example here is uh, I have some music, alright, and this one's in Russian, and you can see that when I extract it, uh, it's not, you know, readable, it's just gibberish, and it even says this stupid thing called invalid encoding. So if you ever get something like this, uh, this is how you would fix it, okay? So we're going to use this program called ConVMV basically is a terminal app so I'm gonna open the terminal here and uh, you know CD into the folder but what you're gonna do is um, let me see here run this command here uh, so I'm gonna try to explain this command here so con VMV is what the program we're using uh, dash R means recursive so it will just do uh, it recursively I think for subfolders too Anyways, the next one is uh, it says no test, so it's gonna actually do the real test here, or it's gonna do the real shit here, okay? And uh, dash f means uh, from, dash means uh, dash t means to, so it says from Russian to uh, Linux here, okay? That's basically what it means. So this one is actually Rush, it stands for the Russian uh, Unicode. And UTF-8 is the default on all Linux, so that's what you should convert to. Okay, and the start means uh, do it for all the programs. Okay, or all the files in there. Uh, so that's all it means. So if I run it now, all this uh, thing here is gonna actually uh, be readable if you actually Russian. Okay. And there you go. See all all the MP3s. You can actually read it now. Uh, I guess if you're Russian. <laughs> Uh, so if you actually messed up or something, uh, you want to convert it back uh, to the way it was. All you gotta do is switch the order around. So instead of um, you know saying from Russian to Linux, we say from uh, Linux to Russian. Okay, so UTF-8 to uh, CP-866 uh, here. Okay, and I'll just convert it back to what we had before. Uh, this garbage, but. You know, we got it right the first time, so I'm just gonna convert it back. Uh, so it doesn't actually actually be Russian. It can actually be, um, you know, um, you know, was it uh, Korean, Japanese, or whatever. But the problem is, you have to replace this part with, uh, you know, the Japanese code or the Korean code. And it's not exactly. Um, well, I'll give you the list of what they support, but it's not exactly helpful using this list because it doesn't tell you what the hell it is you know but you can actually get a list of what they support here so you you type in con vmv dash dash the list you get a list here but it doesn't tell you what fucking country is from or whatever or what language is from well sometimes they do but you know all these other ones uh, it means nothing to us okay uh, so the way to round this is bust out you know your web browser and just search for a list of all available encodings and the first one uh, the Oracle one should tell you uh, exactly what it is so this is the page here okay and all you do is just search for the language you, you you know you're using so if I search for Russian um, sometimes sometimes they have more than one but you know just try it all so this was the one that I used let me see here all right, CP eight six six, and it says MS DOS Russian, or if you're using like I don't know French or something, then they have French or you know Japanese. So all you gotta do is just replace. Uh, let me see. So let's say you're using uh, Japanese here, right? And you just uh, type in CP nine three O, and that's it. And you just uh, convert that to uh, UTF eight and you're done okay so that's how you would do it just replace uh, whatever language uh, you think the, the files is uh, and uh, convert it to uh, Linux format and that's how you would do that one and uh, as far as for that program you actually have to install the convmv okay it's in your repositories not a big deal so that is it for this one